Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be watercolor painting with my brand new set of, well, watercolor paint in today's video. I just got gifted this today. This is a Winston and Newton, like, portable watercolor set. It's pretty nice, I will admit. Definitely an upgrade over my last set, which uh, I'm just going to grab real quick. We can see... I, I, I didn't even realize that it was a branded set, in all honesty. I thought that this was just some generic, like, elementary school unbranded set. And that's because it pretty much is. But this is actually sold at, uh, let's see, let's see. At, uh, let's see, it says Lytle US right there. So this isn't, like, an actual watercolor set, whereas this is, like, an elementary school watercolor set. So it definitely is very, very, very much of an upgrade. And I definitely am very, very, very much looking forward to using it for the first time in today's video that is for sure we can see that none of the watercolor like actual like paints or anything like that kind of thing have been uncovered yet i haven't used any of them because of course this is brand new i literally just got gifted it today from one of my parents i am uh, very thankful for this gift I, I really 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 do appreciate it but uh, i do think without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and actually tell you guys what i'm gonna be watercolor painting in today's video so well I am thinking that I'm going to be watercolor painting a fish in today's video. I figured there's no better way to break in a new set of watercolor paint than to, well, watercolor paint a fish. Uh, I do that a lot, I will admit. Uh, if you guys have been watching this channel for 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 any length of time, y'all already know I love I love drawing. I love watercolor painting fish. So I figured there's no better way for me to break in the well brand new set of watercolor paint than with well watercolor painting a fish. First off, I am just going to be sketching the fish with my pencil Graph Gear 500 mechanical pencil. Then after I sketch the fish, I'm going to go ahead and actually watercolor paint it. I don't know if I'm actually going to use the brush, if I can actually get this open. I don't know if I'm actually going to use the brush in this set or not. I'm not really a big fan of this sort of brush, but I am going to be using it. I just don't know if I'm actually going to be using it to actually watercolor paint the fish. Uh, I do have my old set of brushes as a backup. And then after I watercolor paint the fish, I am then going to be going over all of the lines once again with my Sharpie S gel pen, just to make all of the lines a little bit more distinct. And I also have my pencil click eraser uh, with me today, just in case I mess up any of the lines or anything like that, and just in case I need to erase. But I do think without further ado, I should probably first off, go ahead and get my notebook all opened up, which is actually brand new as well. I was gifted this notebook Book, along with the watercolor set today. So this is also my first time using this brand new notebook. And I think it's actually my first time ever using actual watercolor paper itself. I've never used actual watercolor paper. All of the watercolor paper I've ever used has been like multimedia paper. This is actually designated as watercolor paper. It's 140 pounds, so it's pretty heavy paper. There's only 30 pages in this notebook. I'm sure it was a little bit pricey, but I really, really, really do appreciate it. I got it gifted um, along with this, so they were like a combo gift. And I, I'm very appreciative of my parents for uh, for, for supporting my, my art uh, endeavors and everything like that kind of thing. I really, really, really do appreciate it. Um, I do think without further ado, though, I'm going to first off probably, I should probably actually get the notebook all opened up. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that real quick. I'm just going to fold over the front of the notebook and just go ahead and get to the main page right there. Just make sure I'm just going to stand up real quick and just make sure... It's actually like centered in the camera and everything like that. I'm going to go ahead, put my water back, put my watercolor set back. And now I'm going to go ahead and sketch the fish that I'm going to be, well, watercolor painting in today's video. I kind of want to, since the page is so big, just do like a really small one like over here or something like that. But I'm also very tempted because the page is so big as well to do like a super big fish. I think... I don't know. Do I want to go for a super big fish or do I want to go for a smaller one? I am very tempted to do the smaller one. I'm also kind of tempted to do a school of fish. In all honesty, I know I want to draw a fish, but now I've just kind of got to figure out what exactly I want to do uh, with the fish drawing I'm going to be doing today. I'm kind of thinking I want to, I kind of want to do a small fish, but I also really want to do a big fish. Hmm. I could just compromise and do a medium-sized fish, but I, I don't really want to do that. I'm thinking I'm going to do... I'm thinking I'm going to do a... 
Hmm. Hmm. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? I think I'm going to start it off by doing a massive fish. I think I'm going to do a massive fish. So I'm going to have, I kind of want the mouth to be like really like, uh, to be like really long. Ooh, I messed that up already. I messed that up already. No curved lines in the mouth. I want it to be straight edges, straight edges. That's how you make an evil looking fish, right? And so then I'm just going to have that come back out just like that. There we go. Exactly how I want it to look. And then now I'm just going to have the bottom just stretch all the way up and back and around. And now I'm just going to have the top go all the way up, back and around as well. And just line back up with that. And then I'm just going to have the tail come up, back down again. And I'm just going to have it go all the way down to almost the base of the paper. And I'm going to go ahead and line this up now. Just like that. Perfect, perfect. No complaints on my behalf. There we go. I'm pretty happy with how this fish is looking so far. Let's go and add all of the teeth. Try to make sure that all of these teeth are very close together and everything like that. I'm not going to be watercolor painting the teeth in today's video. And I'm going to be trying to avoid watercolor painting them when I'm actually watercolor painting the fish itself. But I do suppose we'll just have to wait to see how this finds out. Uh, or I guess we'll just have to wait and see how... Uh, this turns out and what happens and everything like that kind of thing. But I do suppose it is what it is either way. And I know I said I wanted the teeth to be really close together. These are definitely not the most close together fit, the teeth I've, fish teeth I've ever made. Uh, but I'm also not terribly worried about it. Let's see though. Let's go and continue on with those teeth. There we go, there we go. I'm hoping that because this paper is actually meant to be watercolor paper that it reacts really well with the watercolor and everything like that. I'm not sure if it will though. And I'm thinking I want to do like an eye kind of like that, kind of like that kind of thing. That's what I'm thinking. Then I want to have some really big fins. So I'm thinking I want one fin like right there. I want another fin like right there. And then another fin like right there. And I'm thinking I just want to leave it like that. I think that is what I want to do. For the watercolor paints, I for, for the watercolor painting I'm going to be doing in today's video. So now I'm going to go ahead and get my set all opened up, and now I need to decide what color I want to use. I've got uh, what is this? Eight, four, eight, twelve colors I can choose from. I've got white, black, light blue, dark blue, pink, orange, uh, like sort of a brick, and then sort of a puke color. I've got really light green, really dark green, light orange, or sorry, not light orange, light yellow, and then like sort of a darker, more golden yellow. So what am I thinking? What do I want to do? I'm kind of thinking, I'm kind of thinking of pink. I'm kind of thinking of pink. I think a pink would be really good. So I'm thinking I might do pink. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my scissors because I tried to get this out with my hands earlier and I, I couldn't just to take a look. I just wanted to take a look at what it looks like and I, I couldn't get, I couldn't get it out. So let's see if I can get this out with my scissors. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. And it's covered by plastic and everything, of course. Does this just come out? I don't know. I, this is a completely new watercolor set to me. I have no clue. This is really, oof. Well, it's coming apart. I want to get it out. There we go. Got it out. And it's just uh, surrounded by plastic and everything like that kind of thing. No surprise there. I'm just going to go ahead and get this one out as well and just go ahead and do the same thing while I, while I can easily get it out. So I'm just going to go and unwrap both of these just real quick. Let's see, get that all going. This is the first time I've ever used a watercolor set like this. Every single time I've used watercolor, even when I was doing watercolor more often in school and whatnot, I was using basically the cheapest what was, the, the what, what, what whatever the cheapest was uh, that was available. And this is much darker than I was thinking it was going to be. This is much, much, much darker. This is more like a red than a pink. Let's take a look at again, this, 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 this look, that looks like pink. Maybe that's like, I don't know. I think I might commit to it. I think I might commit to it. But also, that's a lot darker than what I was thinking. So, I don't know. Oh, let's see if I can get that back in there. There we go. Snap back in. And let's go and get this one all opened up as well. Oh. Need some surgical scissors for this. I have some somewhere. I don't know where they are, though. I'm kind of thinking I might go for the orange instead, in all honesty. It's just a bit, this this red is really dark. So I might just go for the orange instead. 
but I'm just gonna put that right here. It is falling over a little bit. I've got my paper towels all set up already. I'm just gonna put my paper towel right here so just so it doesn't fall down. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get the brush out. I'm gonna go and get the cap off of the brush. Go and just uh, go like that, just a little bit kind of thing, just to uh, warm it up a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and just start messing around with it while I'm just kind of wetting the page and everything like that. Cause I want to do wet on wet today. I don't want to do wet on dry. Um, and so, yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna do wet. Uh, I think I'm gonna do wet on wet today. And I'm gonna try using this brush right here for the first time. I'm not thinking I'm gonna like it very much. Yeah, I'm not really a super big fan of that. I kind of want to go for a bigger brush. This is just not super big. Well, granted, it is, this is a travel set for watercolor. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna use this brush today. I am just gonna dry it off real quick. Nice brush though, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this back. Oh God, oh man. Just gonna put that back real quick. And I am now going to get my, uh, my, my backup brushes and I'm gonna get that out. And then I think I wanna do, I'm probably just gonna do all of the color with this one as well, cause it's so big. So I think I'm gonna do everything with this brush today, although I might not, who knows? So I'm just gonna go ahead and start wetting I think I'm gonna do the top of the fish first. So I'm just gonna start wetting the top of the fish. I'm just gonna have that come down and everything like that kind of thing. Just like that. So I'm just gonna wet the top of the fish because I'm just gonna do the top of the fish first. And then I'm gonna wet the rest of it after I am done doing the top of the fish. That's the plan. So let's just go ahead and do all of this. There we go. I'm just gonna take some of that water. Get that a little bit wet as well. There we go, all wet. All right, cool, cool. I think that should be all good. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and this is a little bit smaller than I'm used to, what I'm used to as well. So let's just give it a go. Oh, that's a nice orange. Yeah, no complaints on my behalf. I definitely uh, got some of the orange in the eye. I'm going to try to get that out real quick. The color is spreading pretty nicely. That was definitely a little bit too dry of the brush. I'm just going to spread that out just so I don't ruin it. or ruin the uh, piece of art, I do suppose, the right way of putting it. Yeah, I think I might switch from using this brush to using the smaller one. So I think I might, I might, what actually what I might do is I might do this, the base layer with this brush, and then I'm gonna go back over with the smaller brush that I have in this set right here and do all of the details with that there definitely are some areas that I want to darken up but I think for the base layer this big brush should work just fine uh, so I think I'm just going to stick with it for the base layer for the fish uh, but so far yeah no this pigment is working really good I mean like look at that that is really high quality just right off the bat at least in person taking a look at it through my camera screen it's definitely a little bit more muddled that is for sure uh, but it's looking great in person it's looking great in person I'm just going to go ahead and dry off just go and get some of that orange off of my brush real quick. And I'm just gonna start wetting the bottom of the fish too. Just like that. I will admit this paper dries out pretty quickly as well. It definitely does not just stay sopping wet 
for a long time, which is something I'm not used to. So that's going to take some getting used to as well, but it's not a bad thing, that's for sure. If anything, I'd say it's a good thing. It's just something I'm not quite used to. But let's go ahead and grab some more orange. Let's go ahead and go at it. Just spread that orange all around. All right, whatever, I'm getting the tips of the teeth done. It is what it is. Or the tips of the teeth are getting watercolor painted, whatever. It's not too big a deal. And there we go. That is the base layer all done for the main actual fish body. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. I think just to make the other eye match as well, I'm just going to go ahead and do a very light coating. And I'm just going to grab this brush real quick and just go like that, just to make it match the rest of the fish. There we go. Just like that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do the tail itself, which I think I might actually do. I'm gonna wet it with this brush, but I think I'm gonna do the tail with my smaller brush right here. I'm using some Bentimentals Creative Mark brushes. It's like the cheapest brushes I could get, but they work perfectly fine, in my opinion at least, I'm sure. If you are an experienced watercolor painter, you might have a different opinion than mine, uh, but they work for my uses. Let me just put it that way. Just the cheapest stuff I can get my hands on. So now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, dry this off just a little bit. Go and put that down right there. And I'm going to go ahead and wet this, grab some orange. And I'm just going to start off with the tail now. And wow, this pigment just goes so much more. Like, I don't need to constantly like go, 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 get more, 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 more pigment. Like this pigment just goes and it really is just so nice. Wow. I am just going to try to lighten up the back of the tail. I might not, honest, I might honestly not even need to do another layer uh, for the tail. The tail, it is bleeding a little bit, I will admit. It makes sense. I got some of the wet on uh, the edge of the tail. Definitely maybe need to start being a bit more careful with making sure that if I'm doing wet on wet, I don't get the water all over the place. But I feel like it just adds personality to the drawing. I don't think it's a bad thing at all. Uh, so certainly no complaints for me. That is very, that's a very deep hue though. I really do like that. But man, this pigment is so nice and the paper is dry already. Man, is this what using the proper materials for the job is like? I love it. I ain't gonna lie y'all. I absolutely love it. I'm drinking a Monster Zero Ultra today. That's pretty good. And so now I'm thinking I wanna go ahead and start with the actual details on the fish itself. I'm gonna go ahead and just wet all of this again. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the top of the fish. And I'm just gonna wet the areas that I would kinda of want to make a little bit deeper, which is mainly the edge areas. I wanna make the edge areas all a little bit deeper, uh, but some of the center area too, just not as much so. Let's just spread that out just so the color doesn't go everywhere because it's blotchy. All right, so now let's go ahead and grab some more orange, and I'm just gonna start up here. And all of that coming off, that was, uh, that's, that's all my fault.
And another thing with the pigment is that it seems to stay a lot more malleable for a lot longer as well. It definitely, like, the, the paper itself might dry faster, but as long as I can get my stuff done before the paper dries, the pigment seems to be a lot more malleable, which is really nice, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. And I think I might just stick to my bigger brush. I think my bigger brush might work better for what I want because I'm doing such a big object right now. But no, there we go. The dark, the upper area is a little bit more dark now. Can't complain about that. Let's go and just wet the bottom area. And if I need to do more layers, then I will. Kind of the, the, the tail is coming in pretty good. I think I might do one more layer with one of my smaller brushes, uh, but that's it more than likely. And I think I might do that uh, dry on uh, wet on dry, just to make it just to make it uh, be a little bit more distinct than the uh, base layer. And looking at this, uh, I think it's all good. All right, bet bet. Let's go ahead and grab some orange. Another thing I definitely do need to work on is my brush control. My brush control is my brush control is not the greatest, and that's definitely something I need to work on as well. But it's not terrible by any means. But wow, this little bit of pigment goes so much further. And yeah, I definitely think I want to darken this up a little bit more. I'm very happy with the bottom right here where it's pretty well blended and everything like that kind of thing. But this up here, it's very stark at the moment. And I definitely do want to fix that. And I think that is all up to my brush being too small. So I'm just going to go ahead and give this another go. Start spreading it out just a little bit like that kind of thing. It's not perfect by any means. Ooh, I definitely am messing that up a little bit, but hey, it's whatever. Just gives personality to the drawing, right? I definitely do just want to grab a little bit. Kind of just deepen this area up a little bit as well. I think I might do one more layer right, right at the top there. Paper is definitely still bending quite a quite a bit, excuse me. But that's not a biggie.
Kind of getting into the routine of it now, I feel like. And there we go. Alrighty, so next up I want to go ahead and I think do... I think I want to do like another color. I think I want to do darken this area up just a little bit as well. And I want to do one more on the top, I'm thinking. And I'm going to focus it on there. I'm not going to really go around the eye anymore. That's just going to cause more hell. And there we go. All right. So now I'm thinking the last thing I want to do for this is I want to grab just a little bit more orange with my tiny brush right here. I'm going to dab that just a little bit. I'm just going to try to blend that in a little bit. I'm going to do the same with the upper portion. And then now I want to go ahead and just make the edges of this just a little bit more dark as well. And there we go. Alrighty, I'm thinking that is mostly done. Uh, there are definitely some spots where I feel like I can clean up just a little bit, so I think I might do that. 
uh, but I am feeling like this is mostly complete now. Uh, the spots I feel like I want to clean up are mainly right here. It's just not dark enough. It's like this is dark, this is light, this is dark, so it's just kind of out of place. Uh, the rest of the spots are pretty good though, if I do say so myself. But I just want to clean that up real fast. Just kind of make this area just a little bit darker. And I'm thinking I'm just going to leave it like that. I think that should be all good. Uh, well, now I'm going to go ahead and let this dry. I'm going to go and clean off my brushes real quick. I'm going to go ahead and close up my nice little new watercolor set, which I will admit has performed very well today. I'm going to go ahead and just dry off my brushes on my napkin right here. My paper towel, napkin, whatever you want to call it. Go ahead and just put that one back, and I'm going to go ahead and dry off this one as well. Just like that. And I'm just going to put this one back as well. There we go. Perfect. And overall, yeah, no, this... This has been working great. This has been working great. I am very, very, very happy with how my new watercolor set has been doing. In all honesty, I really do have no complaints on my behalf. I ain't gonna lie. I really do have no complaints on my behalf. I'm very happy with it, and I am very thankful that my parents. Uh, I've, I've been talking to them about my uh, about my watercolor painting and stuff like that kind of thing, and uh, I'm, I'm very thankful that they're willing to support me. Uh, trying some new stuff in art and everything like that. Uh, both my parents enjoy doing art as well. Um, and uh, neither of them are really super big into watercolor. But um, they both enjoy doing art as well. And I'm very thankful that uh, they, they're willing to support uh, my little bit of an artistic endeavor, both with this channel and uh, trying something new with uh, watercolor. That is for sure. I am very thankful for it. And I, I do really like the look of watercolor, so I'm glad to have some higher quality supplies with me today. I'm just going to let this dry, though. I don't really want a sort of paper-like texture or anything like that kind of thing. So I'm just going to be chatting for the next couple minutes while this starts to dry. And I think I might start, like, the tail looks like it's pretty much all done. So I think I might start be going over the dry portions with my pen in just a minute. I'm going to go and throw my trash away that's over here as well. Got my trash can right next to my desk. Oh, just throw all this away. Throw that away, and then I'll grab the one last piece of trash. There we go. Go finish off my monster. Ooh, there we go. I will admit, though, watercolor <laughs> is at the same time both the most frustrating art medium in the world and one of the most satisfying to look at. I love looking at properly made watercolor but man it is so frustrating sometimes it is so frustrating sometimes uh, like there's definitely aspects of this that i already think i could do better uh, but i just don't feel like doing right now kind of thing i could totally add more and more and more layers i just don't feel like doing it right now in all honesty though i, I i'm done i'm done coloring this in i uh I, I i definitely lack patience when it comes to art i will admit um but but I am definitely a lot more happy with this than pretty much any of the like big fish I have previously um, watercolored before. I, I'm much more happy with this. And there's really only a couple aspects where I'm not happy with like the tail being a little bit darker, being a little bit darker than the rest of the fish and everything like that kind of thing. But it's just little things that honestly, I don't really think a viewer is going to be like, oh, he messed that up kind of thing. Well, they might be, but I mean, like I think art that's messed up kind of has a charm to it. And uh, that's that's kind of if I can if I can get that charm, then I certainly will take it. I'm just gonna go ahead and start off. Uh, just, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just start off with uh, getting the tail all uh, done with my pen, though. And I am gonna be going over this again once I just uh, do the entire outline of the fish. But I like just doing pen as an outline for my watercolor paintings just because it makes it a little bit more distinct, makes it a little bit more in my style, and that's that's what I like. That's what I like, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. So 
there we go. And I'm gonna be going over all those lines once again. I'm just gonna go ahead and darken this up just a little bit, make that a little bit more distinct. There you go, I think that should be all good. And I'm just gonna do that a little bit more down here as well. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and move my water to a different table so I don't actually spill it all over my computer, which is sitting in another area of my table. And I think now I'm gonna go ahead and move, I'm gonna go and toss this. I'm gonna go move this over and I'm just gonna go ahead and just start uh, trying to figure out what the best way. So this is all dry over here. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and just start focusing on this uh, right here. I'm just trying to, the paper is so big in my camera. Like I've got it just about at the highest position, one of the highest higher positions I can. And this piece of paper still doesn't fit very well. It is very large. Ooh, that's still pretty damp. Okay, and I think I might actually go like this to really start uh, to really start going at it, kind of thing. Just like that. There we go. And I'm just gonna start working on the bottom of the fish as well. I wanna do the bottom of the fish and then I wanna do the top of the fish, do the mouth, do the fins, and then just go over all those lines once again. Just make sure that's still in frame. <laughs> it is a big fish, I ain't gonna lie. It's so big that it tries to escape the frame of the video. But let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any tips for watercolor painting or anything like that. I do encourage y'all, uh, y'all to leave any that you guys have or anything like that kind of thing because I am certainly not a professional watercolor painter that is for sure I do suppose I am making money off these videos so technically speaking I am a professional um well I'm not making a living off of doing my art videos uh at the time of this recording at least so and by the time this video is up because uh, this is a couple months pre-recorded may maybe I am I doubt that <laughs> I doubt that but who knows? Who knows? Who knows what the future holds, right? But uh, I am by no means a professional watercolor painter. But I do honestly kind of feel like that's kind of the charm to a little bit of the charm to the art itself. I'm going to go ahead and flip this over. And I'm going to start working on the top of the fish now. Just make sure that's still in frame. Okay, cool. All of that's in frame. Ooh, it's definitely, the paper is definitely still a little bit damp, but that's okay. Can y'all still see that? Okay, y'all can still see that barely. Alright, so there we go. There is the top half of the fish done. Let's go ahead and I think now do the mouth. So I'm just going to push that up just like that and just start working on the mouth now, which honestly, I think I might go at like this. I'm going to start doing all the teeth now as well.
Whoopsies, left a little bit of a dot right there. It is what it is. Alrighty. And so now the final details that I need to go ahead and do are the fins. I just need to do the fins real quick. And then after that, I will be all done. Well, not quite all done. I'll still need to go back through and go over a lot of the lines, make them a little bit more distinct and everything like that. But I'll be all done with all of the details that I need to do first over in pen. And then after that, I can actually go ahead and start going over and adding uh, more details to the actual pen lines themselves. So let's just go ahead and do this. Hope that y'all can see everything okay. This piece of paper is pretty big, but I'm just holding it at an angle, which makes it easier for me to do these lines. There we go. Alrighty, cool, cool. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Let's go ahead and start going back over some of these lines and just making them look a little bit better than they currently do. Just thicken them up and everything like that. And I will admit real quick, I gotta go to the bathroom, y'all. That monster gave me some caffeine shits. I'll be right back, y'all. I am not gonna lie. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. Oof. Feeling much better, y'all. Feeling much better. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Whew. I really did need to take a little bit of a poop. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I really did need to take a little bit of a poop. Let's just go ahead and start finishing up all of these lines now. Just like that. And I'm just gonna darken that up just a little bit. And I'm just gonna do the same thing over here. I'm just going to darken the bottom up just a little bit as well. Just thicken up those lines. And just start thickening up, thick, thickening up, thickening up all of these lines as well. There we go, there we go. And that's the bottom all done. I definitely do still need to uh, fix some stuff going on with the bottom, uh, like this area right here, but I'm just gonna go ahead and work on the top real quick, I think. So I'm just gonna go and start thickening up, thickening up all of these lines now. I 
I know they probably don't make it, but if they had like a two millimeter like ballpoint pen or something like that, I would love that. It would be perfect for this sort of art. Like have like a super bold line because I'm like, I know this is a 0.7. I could get a, I, I could get a 1.0. And my issue with 1.0 is, is that they smear so easily like all the time, like no matter which one you get, like maybe, maybe a Sharpie S gel would be okay. And like, don't get me wrong, like 0.7 smear as well. Uh, but 1.0s are just so much worse about it than 0.7s. And then of course, 0.5s are moderately better than 0.7s. Um, but I feel like a 2.0 would be amazing for this sort of art. It would just smear everywhere. Uh, I don't even know if they make that, in all honesty. I should really look it up, because that would be sick. That would be that would be sick to have. Plus, then I could make, like, five videos about it. I could be like, all right, drawing a fish with a 2-millimeter ballpoint gel pen or something like that kind of thing. And I could do, like, five different drawings with that same exact title, just with different drawings. That would be a content gold mine. It would be a content gold mine. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Now, let's go ahead and start uh, start start working on the jaw now or the the mouth i do suppose just like that and i'm just going to darken this area up just a little bit as well and i'm going to do the same with this side i like to have all my 90 degree angles be a little bit darker so after I do the mouth, I'm gonna go ahead and do the teeth. And I'm gonna darken some of those areas up as well. And then after I'm all done with the teeth, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the fence. And then I'll be all done with the first watercolor painting I've done with my new watercolor set. So let's just go ahead and start working on the teeth though. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Cannot complain. Now, there are some areas where I want to clean it up just a little bit, just because there's some pencil lines there and stuff. And I think that should be all good. I think that should be all good now. I am just real quick going to kind of just go over some of these ones again. And there we go. Okay, I feel like that's a lot better now. I do feel like that's a lot better now. So certainly no complaints on my behalf. And now... The final part I got to do is just the, it's just the fins. So yeah, let's go and work on those. I've been watching an anime called uh, Hey Bane Renmi. Hey Bane Renmi? I don't know how it's pronounced. I don't know how it's pronounced. Really, really good anime. I'm like, uh, I think three episodes in so far. I'm sure I've heard it's kind of depressing and kind of philosophical. Uh, so I've watched the first three episodes. Really good world building, though. Really good world building. Really been enjoying it. And uh, of course, there's a character that smokes cigarettes. So of course, I'm a fan of it right off the bat. Um, but, but, 
very relatable character with their with their smoking habits. I ain't gonna lie. I'm like, oh <laughs> yeah, I'd be I'd be I'd be smoking like that too. Um, Let's see, just could finish these up just a little bit, just concentrating on this for a minute. But I'm sure it'll get very philosophical, but the first couple episodes have had some great world building and have been very enjoyable overall and definitely something that I am looking forward to watching a little bit more of tonight after I'm done with everything that I've got to do. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Let me go and fix those. Clean up some of these lines over here. There we go. And alrighty, so I'm just gonna stand up for a minute. Just take a look, see if there's anything I think I'm missing or anything like that. Just center that on the camera. Just taking a look at this right off the bat, I don't think there's anything I am particularly missing. I am pretty happy with how this turned out. It's definitely not my best watercolor ever, but it's definitely been a new experience. It's definitely been a new experience using um, a, a much nicer set of watercolor has been very refreshing, I ain't gonna lie. And I am very, very, very glad uh, to be able to use a nicer set of watercolor. Uh, finally, I, I probably would have never bought it for myself. I probably would have just continued using uh, the cheapy, uh, the, the cheapy, uh, like, uh, children elementary school set until that set died. And then maybe I would have gotten myself something nicer. Uh, and I'm, st I'm sure I'm still going to be using the cheapy children set and everything like that every once in a while when I feel like switching it up. Uh, but it is nice to be able to use something a little bit more high quality now. And uh, I'm very happy to be able to give it a go. And you can definitely tell the pigment, which is right off the bat kind of thing. I don't know if it's just me, but it feels like it's so much better. It feels like it's so much better. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Uh, so I am very, very, very happy to uh, have gotten it as a gift and to use it for the first time in today's video. Uh, that is the watercolor painting, though. That is the watercolor painting. I don't think there's anything else I want to do. I think I'm gonna leave it uh, right here. I am overall pretty dang happy with how this uh, with how this fish has turned out. It's taken me a little bit to do the fish, that's for sure. What have been we been doing? We've been the video. Granted, there were like four or five minutes I was in the bathroom, uh, but uh, at, uh, talk, uh, at the moment I'm speaking right now, pre-editing, I'm at 57 minutes and 27 seconds as I said that. Now 30 seconds. Now 32 seconds. Now 33, 34, 35, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but, but overall definitely worth the time i put in definitely worth the time i put in i am very 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 happy with how this turned out and i am very much looking forward to using um my my brand new watercolor set uh, lots more in the future that is for sure i certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching today's video if you guys have enjoyed watching today's video then of course please make sure uh, to like and subscribe for more content i have my instagram my book my merch my po box and my main channel all in the description down below go check it all out uh, if you guys have any constructive criticism for the drawing i did today make sure to leave it in the comments down below along with any tips that you guys might have for watercolor painting as well uh, I'm, I'm very fresh to watercolor painting. It's something I enjoy doing. It's something I love the look of, uh, but I definitely do feel the need to get better at it. So if y'all have any tips, if y'all know how to watercolor paint better than I do, which I figure a lot of y'all probably do, uh, just uh, let me know in the comments down below what tips you guys might have for me. But yeah, until the next one, y'all, stay safe and peace. Never a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying.